Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do lead code by weekly third question. And here's the question. So before starting with this question, let me introduce you with the Newton School Coding Contest as well. Because you are doing with lead code by weekly challenges, you can also get your hands on on those challenges as well. So the thing is that you can figure out for the all details for the same in the description below. And in that you can head over to that link, register there for free and then get exciting prizes when you are the top performer of that particular competition. So this was all for the student school coding competition. So now let us start with this particular question. So here, as you can see, the question is minimize maximum of L. So the thing is that we are recorded with minimum of the maximum of this particular array. So the thing is that we are required to do some operations and because of those operations only, we will be able to figure out means we will be minimizing this particular array. And after minimizing this array, we will be figuring out with the maximum number which we can figure out in this whole array. So that's the thing which we are required in this particular question. So we are given a zero index array nums comprising of a non-negative integer. In one operation, you must choose an integer i such that i is less than such that i is basically greater than or equal to 1 and goes till n and nums of i is greater than 0. So that is the thing which we are required to do. And then decrease the nums of i by 1 and increase the nums of i minus 1 by 1. So this is the thing which we are required to do in this particular question. So the thing is that we will be decreasing that nums of i by 1 and increasing that nums of i minus uh, 1 by 1. So here you can see that uh, whatever uh, we will be given with, we basically 2 or 1 whatever we are given with. So here whatever i is there, so we will be decreasing that by 1 and at that time only we will be decreasing this by 1. So this is the thing which we are required to do. So this we will be doing for the whole array and these operations will continue and here the thing is that while doing this operation a nums of i which is there that should be greater than 0. If it shouldn't go negative means it shouldn't go ahead with the negative ones when we are decreasing. So now we are required to return the minimum possible value of the maximum integer of nums after performing any number of operations. So this is the thing which we are required to return at the end means while doing these particular operations we will be at the end uh, getting an array where we will be having the means because while doing this minimum max uh, means decreasing and increasing, we will be getting one number which will be maximum, right? Out of all the numbers and that it is the number which we are required to return. So this is what they want to say in this question. And let us first check for the constraint. Then I will let you know what the intuition has been because the way they are saying exactly like that we are not required to do. So this is a length. N is lint, so it's obvious. And then our constraint is that n could go till the is to 5. And each number could go till n is to 9. So the thing is that in multiplication division, there only we will be having some issue for the 10 to 9. So that we will be figuring out. And then as it can go till 10 to 5, so this simply represents that this 10 to 5 will be. This n square solution won't work here. We will be required with n log n or n solution. So this is the thing which we are required to keep in mind. Now on the next part. That how we are required to do this question. So the first major observation in all these questions is. You can see here. That if we are choosing this i. Right. So now it becomes 4. Now it becomes 6. Because we decrease from here and increase from here. Right. Now if we choose 3. So here we are choosing 3. So at this particular moment. We are decreasing from here. Basically decreasing from here and increasing from here. Right, you can see that. Now at the end, we again chose 1 because it was not 0, right? So we can choose it again. And then when we chose 1, so at that particular, we decrease it and increase it, right? So now at all, we got 5 as the maximum out of all the numbers which are being given to us. So this is the thing which is being there in this particular question. So in this particular example, basically, now comes the next part. Here you can see that whether we even if we are decreasing or increasing still the sum of the whole array remains the same right. So because of that only here you can simply conclude like if we do 3 plus 7 by 2 right. 
so what you get this will be 10 by 2 that is equals to 5 right then again when we go ahead for this particular means if we start like this for this i 3 uh, by 0 and then 1 plus 0 that will be same right then we go ahead with the same then whatever was earlier then 3 plus now whatever is there right and then just adding up means doing the sum at every moment and doing the average for the same so if we are going ahead with that same approach then because of that only we will be able to figure out the maximum which we can figure out when we are minimizing the whole array so this is a mathematical thing which we were required to observe in this particular question and according to that only we would have figured out with the answer so the thing is that as sum remains equal so that is the thing which i already explained that whenever we are increasing or decreasing and then if we check for 90 about the same then the set of numbers at least possible max after increase or decrease operation is average right so this is also the thing which i had shown you now comes the part that in that only we were required to observe the min max is flowed by the maximum average by earlier numbers as we cannot decrease the earlier numbers so because of that thing only we are at every point taking the maximum and because of taking of that maximum only so the thing is that the thing is that uh, one and two i'm saying about the indices so we can only decrease by this and we can increase by this right so whatever average we have taken for the numbers which would be here right so they won't decrease decrease would be only at this point right so that's why here the thing is that flow to a maximum average of early numbers we cannot decrease the early number thus what we are doing is we are taking the prefix sum and then taking the average of that sum and then whatever is the maximum that would be our final answer so according to that only we are going to be the solution so this is what we are going to do in that question so here we are taking this particular long sum uh, where uh, we would be showing at each point whatever sum is there and then that sum is this one right so whatever sum is there then we will be adding up i to that in case that index and then to that index only because that index will let us know means because of this index only we are able to get that how many numbers are there right so that's why i plus one we are doing just for uh, keeping the check that for the seal value and so on so that fact only we are doing our average like this and then whatever maximum is there either a result is maximum or the new value which we are counting that is maximum so out of that only we will be getting a result and returning a result so this is the thing which we are required to do in this particular question and this is how it could be done and now comes the part for the time complexity and space complexity for at this particular question now comes the part for the time complexity so the time complexity for this particular question is this order of n right so that is that time complexity and the space yeah i have already written so our time complexity is basically order of n in order of one is the space complexity which cause we are not using any extra space so this was all for this particular question if you like the explanation please do like and subscribe to my channel so yeah this was all thank you